John Anstruther, a member of the Niagara Falls uh, Park and the City Committee, and here to welcome you to the next version of our trail tour for the Olympic Torch Legacy Trail. Today we will explore the Olympic Torch Run Legacy Trail. You can find this section of trail located right beside City Hall in downtown Niagara Falls. The trail heads towards the heart of the tourism district and onto Victoria Avenue. It was envisioned to follow the former Michigan Central Railway Corridor from the International Railway Bridge, just south of the Lower Bridge, through the tourism district and continue to the Hydro Corridor known as the Mitchell Line near Mount Carmel Spiritual Center. Currently, the trail ends at Victoria Avenue. The trail was named to commemorate the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympic Games when the torch run passed through the City of Niagara Falls in December of 2009. Jeff Clayton, the City of Niagara Falls landscape architect, was the project manager with work being completed by Touchstone Landscaping and Stevensville Lawn Service. The Olympic Trail is a fully accessible 1.3 km multi-use asphalt surface that includes amenities such as rest benches, litter containers and a bike repair station that can be found at Rosberg Park next to City Hall. A landmark dedicated to the Inuit people was installed as part of the project to mark Canadian lands of snow and ice. Over time, the Inukshuk has become a representation of hope, friendship and an external expression of the hospitality of a nation that warmly welcomes the people of the world with open arms. Another feature that you'll find next to the trail at Rosberg Park is the famous water molecule sculpture that was designed by former city draftsman Derek Costello. It was originally installed in the city's Centennial Square Fountain in 1967, but was removed when the square was redesigned and the fountain removed. The sculpture is now returned to a prominent place of honour in Rosberg Park. The trail was able to be constructed in this area due to the cancellation of the original people mover concept, which was hoped to be a monorail system that would move people along from the train and bus terminals to the tourism district. Now people coming in from the GO station with their bicycles or walking can venture along the Olympic Trail and then connect to the Niagara River Recreation Trail via Clifton Hill to see all parts of Niagara along the river. With the trail completed in late 2009, a grand opening ceremony was hosted by the Trails and Bikeway Committee and past Mayor Ted Salsi. On December 12, 2009, Mayor Salsi was joined by renowned local cyclist Gordon Singleton to cut the ribbon for the official trail opening. In later days, the Park and the City Committee, in partnership with Casino Niagara, planted various trees along the trail to help with shade and erosion issues. In total, over 200 trees were planted over four years. Etiquette of the trail asks that all users respect one another while on the trail. Please do not litter and use the containers provided or pack your trash home with you. Pet owners must keep their dogs on leash and pick up after their pet. People on the trail should stay to the right side of the trail to allow for bikers to easily manage around walkers without incident. Cyclists should also gently warn of their approach with their bells or calm warning that they are, are to pass. There are no motorized vehicles and no smoking on any of our city's trails. Okay, now that you have a little background on things, it is time to ride and explore the Olympic Torch Run Legacy Trail. Legacy Trail, another part of the City of Niagara Falls trail system. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and look forward to our next videos on another trail. Thank you.